Happy morning children a warm welcome from Sheba school online class hope that you are all fit and fine happy to meet you in the online class okay children are you ready for the class children yeah dear students today our subject is max today our subject is max and we are going to learn about time calendar seasons information processing time neram calendar months weeks and seasons okay children are you all ready now what are the what are we going to learn today ma time calendar seasons information processing let's move on to the lesson time time is very precious students don't waste your time use your time in a very useful way okay children early rise and early to bed makes a man healthy and wealthy that means seekrama elundrikkaradho adhe nerathile night la seekrama padutukkaradho namma odambukku romba romba nalladhu adha kandipa you have you should follow it okay children next coming on to the lesson 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute seconds means oru nodi okay ma nodi minute means nimidam okay children 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour hour na oru mani nerum okay ma 24 hours is equal to 1 day 24 hours is equal to 1 day 7 days is equal to 1 week 7 days 7 naatkal oru varam okay yes this is a picture chart which shows the daily activities which you are doing okay children let me now tell you the time what you have to follow okay children wake up wake up early in the morning at 6 o'clock because early rises good for your health then brush your teeth and comb your hair brush your teeth twice a day children okay children then comb your hair get dressed up get dressed up for going to school at what time children at 8 o'clock then eat your breakfast don't skip your breakfast children breakfast you should not skip your breakfast because it is not good for your health if you skip the breakfast then what are you going to children what are you going to do you are going to play outside and inside okay children it's good to play inside nowadays it's good to play inside your house then eat your lunch at 1 o'clock eat your lunch at 1 o'clock then what are you going to do children then have your snack at 4 o'clock have your snack at 4 o'clock eat your dinner at 8 o'clock eat your dinner at 8 o'clock then brush your teeth and get fresh up brush your teeth and get fresh up because you have to brush your teeth twice a day then read a big time story who will tell story for you ma who will tell you the story yes your grandma or your grandpa will tell you the story at bed time then go to bed at what time will you go to bed yes you should go to your bed at 9 o'clock because early to bed is also good for your health children next we are going to learn about calendar calendar days of your week days of your week 
How many days are there in a week, ma? Yes, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Now, we are going to learn what are the days. Okay, children, what are the seven days in a week? Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Sunday is the first day of a week. Sunday is the first day of the week. Okay, children. Saturday is the last day of the week. Okay, ma. On Sunday, it is a holiday for you. You will be very jolly on that day. Isn't it children? Yes. Sunday is a jolly day for you. Let me spell the words. Sunday. S-U-N-D-A-Y. Sunday. Monday. M-O-N-D-A-Y. Monday. Tuesday. T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. Wednesday. W E D N E S D A Y Wednesday Thursday T H U R S D A Y Thursday Friday F R I D A Y Friday Saturday S A T U R D A Y Saturday Children now you have learned the days of your week how many days? Yes, seven days. What are the days? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay, children. Today is Friday. Yesterday was what day, ma? Yes, Thursday. Tomorrow what day? Saturday. Dear students, now we are going to learn months of year, year. Months of year, year. Year na inna ma? Varidam. Oru varidam. Varishan solo le? Year. Okay children. How many months are there in a year ma? Yes, there are 12 months in a year. year. Pannandu maadangal irukku. Oru varishatthuk. Okay va? There are 12 months in a year. Now, we are going to learn what are the months. Okay, children. Let us move on to the picture. See the picture, ma. Are you able to see the picture? Yes. 12 months of a year. First month, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Okay children, let me repeat it once again children. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. January is the first month of the year. Okay, children. Then December is the last month of your year. Okay, children. Now, let us know how many days are there in one month. Mostly, we will have 31 days or 30 days. Okay, children. Seven months have 31 days. Seven months have 31 days. And four months have 30 days. Seven months have 31 days. And four months have 30 days. Now, let us see what are the months which are having 31 days. January, March, May, July, August, October, and December are the months which are having 31 days. Then, 4 months have 30 days. Let us see what are the months which are having 30 days. See the board and see, children.
say children april june september and november have 30 days okay children then february month february month have 28 or 29 days okay children the february month has 28 or 29 days the year which has 29 days in february month is called year leap year okay children students now let us learn what are the important important days you are going to celebrate in these months okay children in january we celebrate pongal new year republic day in april you will have your annual exam isn't it children yes you will have your annual exam in april month and may month is a annual holiday for you in april and may you will have annual holidays june in june month your school reopens in june month your school reopens july month we'll have bakrid festival in august month we celebrate independence day september month we celebrate teachers day october month we celebrate gandhi jayanti november month we celebrate our nehru ji's birthday has children's day october or november we celebrate deepavali december month is the last month of the year and we celebrate christmas in this month okay children dear students we can know from the nakul how many days are in a month nakul na viral mutti okay children can you see the children yes in the edathile vandu this this part will have 31 days and the center part will have 30 days okay children now let let us learn how many days are there in each month january february march april may june july august september october november and december children this part is having how many days ma 31 days center part 30 days okay children students now we are going to learn about seasons seasons what are the seasons summer rainy winter summer rainy winter these are the three seasons in india okay students let us see about the summer season summer season enaduva veil kaalam veil kaalam eppadi irukum summer season eppadi irukum romba hot ah irukum it will be very hot okay children summer la what are the uh, months in summer what are the months summer months march april may june or the summer months what will you do in the summer season ma you will enjoy your summer holidays you will enjoy your summer holidays by going to a native place you will go to beach you should wear cotton dress in summer season okay children drink plenty of water eat fruits see you should eat watermelon watermelon is a summer fruit okay children okay children next you use umbrella in the summer season okay children next rainy season rainy season na malakal mala payirudhu now we are in rainy season what are the rainy months july august september and october or rainy season okay children you can eat sweet corn see see the sweet corn your mother will make hot bhaji with coffee isn't it children you can enjoy the rainy days by being inside your house you should wear what dress ma you should wear a raincoat then you can wear socks 
you can see rainbow in the rainy season you can see rainbow in the rainy season you should you, can, you should also use umbrella in the rainy season isn't it children next moving on to the winter season winter season means cooler kaalam eppadi irukum the climate eppadi irukum cool a irukum you can wear woolen dress okay children what are the winter months november december january and february are the winter months see what is this this is panangalangu winter la namakku kadakkirathu in the panangalangu we will get in lot amount okay children what are the three season children summer rainy and winter season students now we are going to learn about information processing information processing in in the in this we are going to learn about pairing selection collection of data pairing selection collection of data the first one we are going to learn is pairing students now we are going to learn about the possible ways of pairing can you all see the picture ma can you all see the picture yes now we are going to pair the dresses okay children what are the possible ways of pairing this dress there are two shorts and two shirts a pink shirt and a blue shirt two shirts green shirt and a yellow shirt now we are going to pair the dress okay children pairing means matching okay ma now we are going to pair pink with green then pink with yellow pink with green pink with yellow next blue with green and blue with yellow blue with green and blue with yellow these are the possible ways of pairing this dresses okay children dear students now we are going to learn about selection selection of numbers let us see what are the possible ways of keep arranging these fruits in the basket now i am having four apples and two baskets four apples and two baskets now we are going to learn the possible ways of arranging these apples in the two baskets okay children see the board ma see the board okay children now first what i'm going to do is to keep the four apples in the number 2 basket are you able to see the apple children yes now i am arranging the apples in the baskets this is the way 1 this is the way 1 0 4 0 4 okay children next way what's the next way next way i am going to keep one apple in this basket i'm going to keep one apple in this basket this is the second way one and three one and three now we are going to see the third way next i am going to take another apple and going to keep in this basket how many apples are there in both the baskets two and in this basket also two apples so this is the third way of arranging the apples in the basket two two okay children next we are going to see the fourth way again i'm going to take an apple and keep it in this basket how many apples ma yes 1 2 3 3 apples and 1 apple this is the fourth way 3 apple and 1 apple next the last way what is the last way i am going to take this apple and keep it in this basket okay children how many apples in this basket now 4 how many in this 0 so this is the fourth 
way, not the fourth way, ma. This is the fifth way. Okay, children. Four and zero. Okay, children. These are the five possible ways of five possible ways of keeping the apples in the basket. Possible ways of arranging the apples in the basket. Okay, children. Students, now we are going to learn about collection of data. Collection of data. All of you take your Max term book, page number 71, children. Students, can you all see the picture, students? It is in page number 70. What is the picture? The picture is three trees. What are the trees? Banana tree, palm tree, mango tree and coconut tree. Can you all see the picture, children? Yes. Which is the tallest tree in the picture? Which is the tallest? Yes, the palm tree. The palm tree is the tallest tree. Which is the shortest tree, ma? See the picture and say. Yes. Banana tree. Banana tree na varamaro. Adudar umba short. Okay, children. Children, you can complete the book page number 71 by yourself. Okay, children. Dear students, in today's class, we have learned about time, calendar, seasons and information processing. Have you all understood the lesson, children? Hope you have understood the lesson. Complete the book exercise by yourself and do your homework regularly with neat and good handwriting. Thank you, children. Have a nice day.